fourth and last quarter if this is going to be short of a miracle because we have the big J back in the game. Whether he's 100% or not, he wants to play. And he's right here keeping an eye on Atoiko. In the center, it's also back at the court for Christmas Kidaben, who continues to play super games. Pretty, the third quarter was big in production for Gilby. Certainly, is enjoy. Krista scored 24 points in the third quarter, while the Gilby's gin tonic really rose up to expectations. They came up with 37 big points. And Marquez keeps it alive, and we have a technical being slapped on Padim Israel by referee Roberto Manuel for uttering some words. Well, one thing is sure, they weren't sweet nothing. In the third quarter also, I think the turnovers may have hurt Crispa. Yes, uh, they came up with uh, seven while Gilby's Gene Tonics only had two. We have Sonny Jaworski on the line for that technical, missing it. They're still down by uh, by a point. This time the Red Menaces go to the other side for offense. Had Sonny scored that, it would have created the fifth deadlock. Right now, it's a Crispa by one, 82-81. Here is Kidabin, a big night for him. Dugot covering, Atoiko being pressed by the big J, gets the pick. Here's Philip Sessa, he'll drive hard. It is going to be called against Gary Vargas. He just checked in at the start of the fourth. He now is carrying five personal fouls. That'll be a liability. Marquez keeping an eye on Tessa, but the focus is on Kidabin. Well, I'm sure Abed uh, Kidabin is uh, doing very well on the uh, two point set. Sure, getting a very high average. Well, so far he's got 28 points, adding another four points in the fourth quarter. Marquez already about stopped him. There was a pick coming from Joey Marquez, leaving Vargas open for the shot after missing it. Joey was underneath the hoop for that play. Here is Padim, he wants a basket. Finger roll, too much spin. And Anais comes up with it. They're down by one. Again, they have an opportunity to face the lead for the very first time. From Rainbow, goes only two. He touched the line, it's only two. Well, but anyway, good enough. good enough, because now they're on top by a point. This is the first time I think the uh, Tonics ever led. We still have 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Absolutely right. This is the first time that Gilby Jim Tonic is in the driver's seat. Cristobal, Grindas, Cesar, plucks it up. It will count, yes. It is a foul called against the big J. That is his second personal foul. Marquez thought that he already had good position. But before he could lay claim to the leather, Sessa just plucked it in front of him, went up for two, now is an opportunity for three. And Gary Vargas had to be pulled out by putting Valenzuela because Gary has five personal fouls. Terry Saldana back in the court despite the fact that he's playing with a fever. Philip threw up during, go ahead, go ahead. He threw up during the halftime. Yes. Philip Cesar went for a slam, they went up by uh, two points with uh, Gilbis with two team fouls while Crispa still has a miss. Fourth shot coming from Marquez. Good cover, good defense applied by Padim Israel. Here is Cristobal working on the pick given to him by Padim Israel. It worked, it worked. Six points to the credit of by Cristobal. So it's a four point game. Bances and Ice offline. It is a foul called against jersey number 66, and that belongs to Marquez. That is his second personal foul. 9 and 15, that's the time left. And Gilbeast, they're carrying three team fouls. After call, fever or no fever, Terry Saldana pulling down his 12th rebound. 9 and 3. The big J looking for Terry Soldania. 
Cesar takes it away from him, but he rolled. So we have a traveling call down, Philip Cesar. And Francis and I finally gets a big, big rest. Here's Hendon Allow. Hacker combination, the Big J and Wiley Willie. Christopher will be covering Hendon Allow. Out they go on, the Big J. But it is worth keeping an eye on Marquez. It's definitely an asset to tonight's game for Gilby. Posting is Gary Saldana. Disturbed by Bobby Wise move by Cristobal. Good hustling coming from by Cristobal as he saves that ball, knocking that ball, knocking the ball to the to the body of uh, Ed Ducot. And we have by Cristobal living in pain. You see now on your screen, he may have caught an elbow, but he's a tough boy. He's a strong boy. There's salute. Dr. Salud. We saw it once more, brought to you by San Miguel Beer and the Slomo. Here's a tower of strength. Villamin being dispatched by Coach Bernie and facing Kidabin. Kidabin, super nice, 28 points and 7 rebounds. But stealing the thunder is Villamin, 16 points and 12 rebounds. Stop going to the big J from Marquez. Marquez on the floor. The big J takes it. It seems like everybody was covered, leaving the big J unchallenged. He took that uh, 16 foot jumper. Cutting down the lead of Chris to two. Cross pass going to Paddy. He's open. Here's William in doing a reverse on the side. Benjamin certainly has been having a good night. He's been going for that second effort, and most of them is having a field day at it. He's got 18 points and 13 rebounds. Out of on the big J, not taking it for granted now. We'll be a little bit closer. A can cut. Good move coming from Terry Saldana. Benjamin will not get the award. It's a two point game. Still the red Benitez. He'll be facing the lead just one. Score that was 85 84. They're trailing by two. Here's Paddy looking for room to the baseline. A slight push given to him. And it's a foul called against Dukut. And here comes Mamarini back to work. And Dukut, he played good. Part of the overall defensive strategy. Here's Binyamin going to Paddy. Quick release by Paddy. Well, the Tonic should better take care of the uh, foul team trouble that they're, they're in right now. They already have four, while uh, the Red Manice is still as a zip. Time is seven and ten seconds. Fourth and last quarter. This is game number four. If Marquez is crowded, he will look for room. He doubles. Double dribble. Basket will not count. A very creative player, Marquez. He creates his own opportunities. But sometimes he causes the turnovers. Tries to go for a steal, and this is going to be a great move coming from Cesar. Marquez gambled, he lost. He shouldn't have tried that because he was playing good defense, taunting Philip. He tried to go for a steal. Philip went to the hoop, got a foul for a possible three point play. We have a timeout, we'll be back. Back at court side time is 6 minutes and 52 seconds and cheering squads from both clubs are very much involved in the game. And let's listen to Freddie Webb as he reports on the scoring by period. You notice that uh, Crispa had control of the ball game in the first two quarters. In the third quarter, the uh, Gilbis Gin Tonics woke up. They were 37 points to only Crispa's 24. Most of them coming from Francis Hernandez and uh, Steve Watson. Philip Cesar getting to be extremely visible here in the fourth quarter, pumping another six points. He had eight before that. By the way, don't fail to watch our delayed telecast match between Northern Consolidated and Beerhausen, where the national squad stands with a two and one scorecard against Beerhausen, one and two. There's a illegal defense called on the Red Manizers. That's the second time that uh, they've been given this uh, violation, so Watson will go to the line for a bonus. And prior to this moment, Watson is just like gold from the line. How could you have guessed, Pingoy? A premium 
Foul throw shooter. Goes back to his Ateneo days. Passes a nice. Back with a combination of three ball and sauna. Fabiosa trying to give him the body. He goes up. Amaril struggling. We have Philip Tessart taking a dive, taking a plunge. Well covered, Fabiosa. Bad pass. And nice is well covered by Fabiosa. Let's be nice to top by six. Time is six and ten. Big night for Villamin. Here's Kidabin. Inside the Villamin Hill. Power is a shot clock from Terry Saldana. But there may be in a body. Terry Saldana now getting his third personal foul. Jellied up on Villamin. One thing you'll notice, Singoy, is the uh, Gildis Gin Tonics is a shy away from uh, getting into penalty on Team Fouls. They already have six wild kills. Krista has got a clean slate at that. No fouls have been called against Crispa Red Benizers. It's a super defensive rotation. What that happened to them was because of illegal defense. We are under six minutes. It's an eight-point game. Here is Mamaril. Watson. One pump, up he goes. Great move. It was a help out defense coming from uh, Villamin, but Cesar was on top of the situation, but got the, that got, still Watson got the foul from uh, Philip Cesar. Third person foul called against Philip Cesar. The first team foul called against Christopher Redmanizers and Watson. Just like Thursday, beginning to outdo himself. Got 14 points as credit. Just great during the third quarter. 10 points. Here's Villamin. A big night for him. After it's on the side. Was to try to uh, play a little help out defense, leaving Atoiko open for that side jumper. Also, is Terry Saldana. Going to Mama Real. Good touch. He's got 12 points to his credit. Fabiosa taking care of the point. Here is Kidabin. Super performance from Kidabin. Well, at the moment, uh, Kidabin tries to dribble that ball from uh, the low post. Somebody's got to give out a help out defense, especially people on top of the lane. Somebody like Francis Hernandez or Bobby Jaworski. Here is Watson. He fouled the shot. And we have a collision under the basket. It is a foul called against Mamaril. That is his fifth personal foul. Conversation between Watson and Philip Cesar. And that brought the uh, gin tonics to the penalty situation. They now have 17 fouls. Kidabin has scored 30 points now to his credit. He had 24 after the third, pumping another 60 in the fourth. Here is Villamin being pressed by Terry Saldana. Alex clearing the outlet pass to Terry Saldana. Cesar is right there. He does a reverse. The timely pass coming from Alex Clarino. It was a baseball pass underneath the hoop for Terry Saldana. Pain written all over the face of the Big J. Here is Watson. He lost control. Abed Kidabin being crowded. Clarino was trying to stop him. Terry Saldana was also there blocking his pass. It is going to be a foul called against Alex Clarino. Four minutes to go. We have a timeout. We'll be back. Time exactly four minutes, point seven. It is a five-point game. Chris Perez is 102 and 97 for Gilby. But the situation here is that Gilby is in penalty situation. While they're very much on track, in the sense that Gilbeef is very much in the thick of the fight. What adjustments or what options do you think, Freddie Webb, that they can consider to be able to control the tempo of the game? Well, it's not really at this stage of the ball game. It's not really controlling the tempo, but 
They've got to go really hard on offense. They gotta have people like Francis Hernandez scoring and Terry Saldana, and at the same time Joey Marquez. While on the other hand, on defense, they gotta really tighten up on their defense, just like what Chris is doing right now. Terry Saldana makes a little bit too late, and Fabiosa draws the foul from Marquez as he was executing a carpet. Watch it once more, but great body control from Fabiosa. He will now go for three. The basket counted. Well, for the tonics, that really hurts, you know, because uh, you're on the rallying trail, then you see somebody streaking home to uh, the base, then you get a foul on top of that. They're now down by uh, nine points. Now make it ten. With only three minutes, 38 seconds to go. They got to control the ball game, as you said, but I feel that the important thing, again, is scoring. They should score some more and again tighten their defense as well. Try to go for a steal. Try to go some more hustling. Here's an ice looking for his own opportunity. Shot blocked by Villamin. But he hit the hand of Francis Anais. And Villamin better not spoil his great night by complaining. A technical may be slapped on him. Second personal foul called against Villamin. Francis Anais at the line. The Big J is playing hurt. Recurrence of his injury. Two for two coming from Francis. I think now they should challenge the ball carriers of the Red Manizers, hoping to go for a steal, but not that kind. You know, they should not foul the Red Manizers. They should not allow them to go for a steal basket. And I think there's a technical call on Alex Clarino. Foul already was called against Alex Clarino and he acknowledged the foul. A technical foul has been called against Fabiosa for uttering words. Alex for a moment had to hold his breath because he said, technical on me? I you thought, gotta be I, kidding. I oh, thought no, so fine. too, Pingoy. Well, that's a good break for the uh, Tonics. If they make this conversion on the line, they could uh, narrow the lead to seven and hopefully, you know, uh, for Fabiosa to miss either one or both his uh, charity shots. Francis and I nailing down his 13th point. He had nothing during the first half. We have 3 minutes and 17.7 seconds. Great handicap being carried by Gilby Jean Tonic. The cerebral command is playing her, Terry Saldana. He's playing with a fever, and they've got 17,000 over the limit. Calling to Francis. Fabiosa keeping an eye on him. Two quick men. It is an eight-point game, and we have an injured player, William In, at the southern basket. He's on the floor, cramps. So with an injury like that, it's given a 30 second injury timeout while Bernie, uh, Bernie Bernardo tries to put uh, Kadim Israel into the ball game, probably to replace uh, Benjamin. Benjamin, a very strong night, super performance, 20 points, but he controlled the board. He pulled down 13, 6, and 7. Well, it's a pity for Benjamin, you know, now he's got 20 points, his career high is 23 points, and that was last year. He could have easily broken it if he were to stay in the ball game. but now that he's injured, he loves to rest, and hopefully for Bernie Bernardo, I'm sure he wants Benjamin back into the game. You know, it's 3 minutes and 10 seconds, Freddy. I don't get the impression that the Red Manizers are out of the woods. I don't think so, too, you know, because you have Francis, I think, who's pretty hot right now, and I'm sure Francis is going to throw a 3-pointer any time. On the matchup here, Adib Israel covering Marquez. A nice from Rainbow Territory! I was just about to say it. Didn't I say it, uh, Pingoy? I knew I had the feeling because Francis is the type of the guy that when he gets out, he's going to throw those three pointers when important. He's been there before, you know, he can take charge. Again, Marquez tries to gamble. And 
Tessa did not score in his third attempt. Here comes Marquez, difficult shot. And Ferry Saldana underneath, scores. Fabio just flew out of the court, no foul. It's now all of a sudden a three-point game. Guilty Phil Tonic very much alive. It's a cardiac game. It may go down the wire. Fabios are looking for room. All movement. Bounce pass inside. Deep. Instead of for Kidabi. He gets hot. Well, for, for Mamaril, who's uh, trying to take on Kidabi, I'd like to explain later on. But uh, temporarily, there's a ceasefire. We'll be back. He comes to the play. We find Kidabi. He'll be taking two from the line. We have exactly two minutes and 9.3 seconds. Chris Mader on top by three. Sitting side by side, Oscar Villago and our chief, Bob Wong Dennis, and they're sitting at the edges of the seat. And right behind them, chewing their nails, Joey and Maricel Pensum. They're enjoying this game. 33 big points for the big man, Abit Kidabin, but he's pulled down only seven rebounds, three and four. Strong of the board. Last two minutes. Last two minutes. Good pass coming from Ferry Saldana. He didn't get rattled and going up is Mama Rill. He's got 14 big points. It is a two-point game. Still the Red Manizers. A minute and 37. At the wings is Atoiko. He lifts us back again to his best buddy. Mama Rill had it and quickly in front. Here comes Marquez. Well, this time Joey Marquez didn't go for a slam. He was going to make sure, but Still, it was a good two-pointer. We have a dead even count. We have 109 for both teams. This is the fifth deadlock time. American 10. Broken by Kidabin. The big day can come back to the court. He is hurt. Here's Francis. He gets touched by Atoy Kaur. That will be the third personal foul called against Atoy. A minute point four. We have a timeout. We'll be back. Gilby Gintronic playing their team over the limit. Only three team fouls called against Chris Pyre, Red Manito. The last guy that took the shot was Abed Kidabin. He brought his team back to a two-point advantage. That was his 35 points, and that was even that, that even his uh, career high of 35 points, which he scored in 1980 and 1982. Fabiosa on Francis and I. Hosting low. Philip Sessa, one on one. Francis from long range. Apple <laughs> call was there. Padim is there. Was there. The credit goes to Padim. That's his fifth rebound, three and two. Time is down to 42 seconds. Watch your upper right hand corner. It's Fabiosa. He'll bend low from the blind side. It is Marquez hitting the arm of Fabiosa. It will be the fourth personal foul on Joey Marquez. Gilby is there down by two points. That foul of Joey Marquez could really hurt the tonics, you know, because Francis was on top of the situation. He should not have come from behind to try to steal because if the uh, Redmanizers missed the shot, they could have gone home court and probably take another shot of the basket, could have even the count. But right now, if Bernie converts this, these two baskets, they're on top by three points now. If he makes the other one, then certainly the, the, the Gilby Stream tonics will be in a big, big trouble. Fabiosa never scored during the first three quarters, but now in the fourth, he comes up with six big points. We have exactly 34.5 seconds. A timeout asked by Coach Turing Valenzona. We will not turn over. We will hang on to the air. Let's review with uh, Freddie Webb on the timeout left situation. Well, you see them on your screen right now. Gilbis cannot call any more timeouts. He's exhausted all of them, while Chris has got three more timeouts to go. Well, for the tonics, I think you heard Turo Valentona give instructions like, you know, if you have an open three-point shot, take it. If not, you can go for a two-pointer and play hustling defense, hopefully to intercept the ball. Well, this is the chief reason as to why he pulled that Marquez, aside from the fact that Joey 
carried four personal fouls. He's going for the rifled men. And on the inbound, Gilbert Jim Tonic lost it. A tight pass. And a bad pass from Fabio Zagoli to Kidabin. What a situation. Now Alex has to be extra careful. Time is ticking away. 23. The basket does not count. There was a foul before that. Well, it is the third foul called against Bernie. As I said earlier, Pingoy, they got to go for a quick hitting basket because the Red Manai says, no, they still have three more three more fouls to uh, to spend and they're going to use these fouls all along. And Padim Israel knows exactly the talents of Watson, so he's glued to him. Bernie Fabiosa so trying to help out. And there is a foul called by referee wow. Bartolome. It is called against Padim Israel. He had some anxious moments there because for a moment the fans thought that Watson was called on traveling. Francis and Ice gets away. Short. He keeps it alive. His back was turned and Kidabin picks it. And embrace coming from a nice with 11.1 seconds left. It's a foul called against a nice. That'll be his third personal. At this moment, the fans are standing up and headed towards the exit. We have another timeout. We will hang on. We will not turn over. To the outlet pass or the out-of-bounds pass, there was an interception from the Redmanizers. Took a lot of time before the Redmanizers went on an attempt right now. Villamin is taking two, making his first shot. They're on top by five points, possibly six. And Kidabin at the moment, breaking his career high of 35 points, is going for his 37th. Time is ticking away. Did they give one to Francis? Wow. They use their fouls wisely. 16 fouls being carried now by Christopher Redmanizer. The 15th foul on Kidabin. Here's Francis from Rainbow Territory. Mamarin trying to tip it in. There goes the horn. So, game number four belongs to Christopher Redmanizer.